hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. One. Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. Oh, bye. Thanks for always watching and following this channel. Today, our lesson is a how to solve system of linear equation by elimination. The elimination method. Another method that can be used to solve the system of equations is called the addition, arithmetic, or elimination method. You multiply both equations by numbers, which will allow you to combine the two equations and eliminate one of the variables. Example, Solve the following system of equations using elimination method. So we have here two um, equations with 6x minus 3y is equals to negative 3 and 4x plus 5y is equals to negative 9. So multiply both sides of the fir first equation by 5 and the second equation by 3. So let's just doing this. Okay. So, the first equations, we multiply it by 5. 5 times, okay, so we have here 5 times 6 is equal to 30. And 5 times 3y is negative 15y. And 5 times 3, of course, is 15. So, using the distributive property. And for the second equation, we multiply it by 3. So, we have 3 times 4x is equal to 12x and 3 times 5y is equal to 15y and also 3 times negative 9 is negative 27 okay let's move on so let's continue our example so combine the two resulting equations by eliminating the y so we have here Cancelled na yan. So, 30 plus 12 is 42x. And then, 15 and plus, oh, negative 15 plus negative 27 is negative 42. So, divide both sides by 42. Okay. Yes. So, the answer is, the value of x is negative 1. Okay. So, let's continue our example. Then, substitute the value or the value of x into uh, one of the original equations. So, from 6x minus 3y is equal to negative 3. So, your x is negative 1. So, 6 times negative 1 is 6. And then, bring down negative 3y. So, is equal to negative 3. So, just replace the x value in the first equation and simplify the left side so we have negative 3y so just bring down and then negative 3 plus 6 so you once you transpose the other side it the uh, no uh just simplify and then so negative 3 plus 6 is equal to 3 so divide both sides by 3 or negative 3 yes yeah, so ne negative 3 that's why we get negative 1 okay so, for our computation, have the product produce. So, we have negative 1 and negative 1. No? So, that's what we get in our computation. Then, 
as we continue so to check the point in the original equation so from uh, equation one so we have six times negative one so our x is negative one and also our y is negative one all right so that's why we have here so that six times negative three okay uh, six times negative one minus three times negative one is equal to negative three so it's true because we have six or negative six plus six three d because uh, negative three times negative one is positive three so that's why we have negative three is equal to negative three okay next for the second equation 4x plus 5y is equals negative 1. So 4 times negative 1 is equals to negative 4. Plus uh, negative 5. So we got negative 9. So it's true. Our answer is correct. So this is solution of the system is negative 1 and negative 1. Okay. Next, let's try. So solve a system of equation by addition or elimination method. So these are the, the so first, uh, the rule rewrites this equation in a standard form, eliminating the fraction or coefficients. Now, next, if necessary, uh, if necessary, multiply one of the or both equations by the number so that the coefficients of the chosen variable are opposites. Then add the equations. Actually, add or subtract. No? Uh, find the value of one variable by solving the equations in step 3. And find the value of the second variable by substituting the value found in step 4 into either original equations and check the proposed solution in the original equations okay okay so let's do solve by elimination and then check so we have here uh, two an equation here okay so from this no so we can eliminate directly the y okay so 2x plus x is 3x that is equals to uh, 17 minus 2 is 15 okay so that's 15 divided by 3 Therefore, the value, the x is equals to 5. Okay, that's 5. Then, okay, let us select uh, to get y. So, we can use any, uh, any, um, any equation. No? So, for example, we will use um, equation 2. So, since for equation 2, we have uh, x. So, we can directly use now uh, substitute. We can directly substitute. So, we have five plus three y is equals to seventeen so we got three y y is equal to 17 
17 minus 5 is equal to 12. So 3y, <clears throat> I have difficulty manipulating the, ano, the mouse. Okay, so we have here, so 3y is equal to 12. That is uh, 12 divided by 3. Pardon for the, no? therefore y is equals to 4. Okay. You can check out your solution by uh, providing it. So, for example, your x is 5. No? So, for example, in 2, so 5, just uh, uh, check it on your own work. So, this is 5, your x is 5, plus uh, 3 times 4, 12. 12 plus 5, uh, 17 minus 5, yeah, 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 15 minus divided by 3 is 5 so here uh, that means maybe in, but in the second equation if we try it 2 times 5 if 10 minus 3 times 4 12 so it's negative 2 it's correct for equation 1 ok so try to do it on your own just go back from the previous example if you wish okay so for questions and clarifications please leave your comment at the comment section remember gratitude is the best attitude bye everyone see you all good luck